Welcome once again to Smart Agro Innovation. This is your platform that gives information and smart ideas in the field of agriculture, particularly in the field of plantains and bananas multiplication. So far, so good. If you talk about plantain, banana multiplication, don't go anywhere. It is Smart Agro Innovation. It is proven. In fact, it is a beautiful evening and I have come to the field to do some inspections. There is something that I want to share with you. Um, this is an open field. I always say we try to use locally available materials to make things in a very positive manner while we use organic protocols. Day in and day out with plantain sucker multiplication, I want to prove something. Um, what I want to say is that this is a bare place. This is a, an open field. I decided to do some trial and see. If you look at this side, we tried to shade this particular plantain seedlings. So we gave them some shade while we compared with the open field. This is our pre nursery. This is the open field. Now let's look at the one which was also shaded using locally available material that is palm fronts. If you look at them, look at this. The, I want us to compare something. Comparatively, you can see that. Look at the stem. You can see they are even weak in stem. They look green. The leaves look nice. But if you look at them, you can see that they are very weak. They are all plantains. Look at them. They are very weak. Look at the stem. They are very weak. Just look. At, take a critical look. Look at, let's take a critical look. They look green, um, very green and nice. They are growing, yes. Just compare the stem. This is the stem. This is something I want to share with you. This is the stem of the shaded plantain seedlings. This is the stem. Yeah, this is the stem. You can see it. They look quite, uh, they look nice, green. But you can see that a bit fragile. If you look at, you see that they are not that strong. Compare them. Yeah. This is the shaded one. Using locally available materials. Let us go to this side and also compare the stem. This was the open field one. A complete field was open. Yeah. And look at the stem and the leaves. You can see some vinations of the on the leaves. You see that photosynthesis took place completely. And look at the stem. Very strong. Very, very strong. In support. It looks so strong. Robotic. Look at them. You can see some vinations of the leaves, as if they are variegated leaves, okay? But comparatively, if you look at the leaves, you can see some variations, some variegated, uh, variegated, uh, this one, variegated patches, brown patches on the leaves. They look so nice and amazing. Very strong. The leaves, comparatively, are broad. Yeah. First, I will compare the stem. See that the stem, the one which was left in the open field, they have stronger stem, robotic stem, than the ones which were shaded. And the one which were shaded, you can see that the, their leaves are also not broad as compared to the open field. So I want you to look at the, the, the this. Is, we are removing the shade, but look at the leaves. They look quite green, yes, very green, but they are not as broad as the ones, these ones. They look very broad, you can see some patches. You see that photosynthesis took place completely, look at this, complete photosynthesis took place. Yeah, so it is able to complete its metabolic activities because they are exposed. Plantains are not or bananas, they don't fear the sun rays. Trust me. Yeah. 
they are left open field they still grow continually nice we started this whole place with you i want you to follow every single video that we've been doing it is real this is our pre nursery over there is our post nursery everything is on course yeah we have done transplanting so many times yet we still have seedlings here we transplanted everything but still we have a lot of seedlings to replace this particular site see after the whole thing we removed all the um the seedlings completely but they see the mother cutting in the soil in the soil that the soilless media has replenished again and regenerated and still we are getting seedlings look at this they have been harvested for so many times yet they are still coming if the cutting is not rotten it will continue to give us more and more seedlings this is our food and that was the comparison that we can see so it doesn't necessarily mean that if you are doing plantain sucker multiplication or banana sucker multiplication to me in if you are in the environment where i am the western north region of ghana where we have massive rains and you know very good weather for farming you see that if you look at the stem again the shaded ones the stem they are a bit stunted they look slim very slim but if you compare this you see the way they go the open food one the stem are not all that slim yeah so i came to the field actually today i don't want to do any video but when i came whichever thing that we see we try as much as possible to let our subscribers know that indeed smarter grow we say and do we don't just say something without proving to you and when it comes to um sucker multiplication at least you can see that our work is real physical simple to do any farmer anywhere it doesn't require any educational level you can also do something in the food of agriculture this the one you see here is a post nursery we've done transplanting the nursery that we did here at the pre nursery we transplanted some at the far end and this is also one of our post nursery now it is completely flooded with plantain suckers sometimes i imagine where you're going to plant all these <laughs> ah it is very very interesting yeah so it is a nice evening and i'm really enjoying the environment i cannot enjoy this wonderful environment alone i need to share with you i need to share with my subscribers because we started the whole thing together yeah so that is it so comparatively i want you to know that if someone is doing open field matter through our teachings and lessons most people who have been watching most companies even now they are adapting to our system yeah at the pre nursery um it is not by force that at the pre nursery where you are starting the whole thing you have to use seed no because the sun rays will heat up the soil dust, which also promotes germination so you can see yeah we've done harvesting again and again and still they have come back to be this is just the pre nursery the post nursery are also there and we have a lot of plantain seedlings here we are going to put into production smart agro we are not going to leave them here we are going to plant them to harvest for you to see that indeed we started and ended we are moving with you gradually sure so once again um this is Smart Agro Innovation, your channel that teaches much about agriculture. We try as much as possible to make this thing so simple for our subscribers so that you can learn. I've been receiving messages and calls from outside Ghana. 
in most countries the impacts of our work on smart agro i always say our doors are open for consultancy services if you need training practical training not just a training practical one it is about smart agro innovation call us let us have your information so that we try as much as possible to train whosoever our doors are open to know all the do's and don'ts when it comes to plantain saka or banana saka multiplication if you have any idea to commercially produce plantains and bananas i urge you to rely on us for all your technical support thank you so much once we do the work we are doing sometimes it's very difficult our doors are open financially support everything we are ready so we can do more and more to, to let our subscribers uh, know god willing by the close of the end of the year we shall also present to you some of the people we have trained in different different countries and the impact of our work thank you so much for watching this is smart agro innovation my name is Anthony Beidou, the main brain behind um, Smart Agro Innovation. I always try as much as possible to let you see what goes around. We are located in Ghana, Western North Region. That is where we are located. Locally, if we are more be Che e wuni che wa bruchini kabia be one emawa and Tony yo onemo y dia de cheche e wo smart agro innovation soon. Setienga na ora ep na che e ye bana bo dia edi freye na y lingita we. Yeah. So um uo baby wo gana fanenina we as ya fanen na peso ye plantain farming dia nen ye a smart agro innovation so and no. Yet must say we thank you so much. Yet they must say. Yeah, me, I will say you great team. God bless you all. Thanks for watching.